So today I'm here with my November favourites and I loved so many things this month so I better start showing you quickly. A little side note, um, I live in Melbourne, Australia so November is quite hot so yeah, little side note. Um, my first favourites will, I'll start off with the makeup category. My first favourite was my NARS Matte Multiple in Venetian. I have this really fat baby face so like and I just found this product. The thing I hate most is like I have no cheekbones, right? So I basically have to like paint mine on. And with a powder, sometimes it's really hard to get it blended and looking natural. Like it just looks like a stripe. And I find this is like easily blendable if you do it quick, um, like quick enough. So yeah, really love that. And my next favorite is my Benefits What up highlighter and I've been all about the highlighter this month I don't know you just look like fresher like more awake and this one's great it's this nice champagne color and yet again I've got no cheekbones so it really does help with the cheekbone sitch and yeah I really like it because it's kind of like champagne goldy it's not invisible if that makes sense <laughs> um, my next favourite is my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen and um, yeah, really love this just because it's not oily, um, it goes well under your makeup um, and I've noticed I'm starting, to get it fine. I'm starting to get fine lines and that means I'm growing old so like I've been slathering on the sunscreen, sunscreen, oh my god. I can't speak today, so I've been slathering on the sunscreen like crazy. Um, and my last makeup, oh no, sorry, I've got two more. My next makeup favourite is my Motives by Lauren Rudinger 10 Years Younger Makeup Spray. And I literally put this on in the morning and by 9pm at night, my makeup is still acceptable, which I love. Like, so it doesn't really, um, you just kind of spritz it all over your face after you finish, so it doesn't really matter what products you're using underneath. And that's been great, because I've been like a sweaty pig this month. I know pigs don't sweat, people tell me that all the time, but anyway. Um, and then my last favourite, which again, combats the sweat thing, is my Bobbi Brown Blotting's Paper. And yeah, it... I like it because it doesn't really remove your makeup like like if you're wiping you just kind of just pat it over your face and I get a really oily t-zone and all such so really love that and yep yeah, there are my makeup fades my so next up is my favorite fragrance and this month it's been um, Tom Ford's Black Orchid and I'll be honest I just bought it because it has a really cool package and it's really sleek and it looks great in Instagram flat lines. But I've grown to love the scent. It's a really dark, musky scent. A bit mature. Um, you kind of, a bit, a bit, a hint of licorice -y. I hate licorice, so I wouldn't like it if it was. But it kind of just matures really well when it, once it's on the skin. I mean, when I first got it, I wasn't in love with the scent. But, like, people have been complimenting me about it. So I think during the day, it just smells better. And it just kind of fades a bit and but lasts all day so it's great it's a bit expensive but like I think it's worth it because like yeah never goes in sale that kind of jazz um, next are my skincare favorites and although it's been really hot and sweaty this month I've had super dry skin as well because I've got really bad like combination oily dry skin like I get super dry but I also get super oily and it's annoying because like it's just so annoying. Anyway, <laughs> um, what I've used to combat that was like um, the Body Shop's Vitamin E Nourishing Night Cream. Just because I can slather on at night, slather it on at night, and fix my dry skin. But in the day, I can't really afford to put a really super moisturizing um, lotion on my face just because I'll get too oily. So yeah, it's good that like this is just a night thing. Like I don't care what I look like. Um, <laughs> my and lastly is my. Vitamin E lip care um, cream from the body shop once again. Um, I've always had really dry lips and I used to rely on um, Lucas Pore Pore Cream, but it gets like it gets your lips to a point where all the dry bits are off, but then it doesn't help it past that point, which is something that I've struggled with. Like, and then it gets dry again, and then you kind of just get stuck in the dry skin, um, dry lip cycle. But this has really been helpful. I mean, my lips are still quite dry, but that's just because I've forgotten to put this on for the last few days. It just gets them soft, and that's what everybody wants. And yeah, what's next? Candles, and I've got two this month. Um, my first one is my Glass House fragrance, 
and this one is in number four, Les Bays Sauvage, I believe. Um, firstly, love it just because of the packaging, like it's this cool black thing that's great for Instagram posts, and it's two, um, it's a two-tiered candle. I always like that because I don't know, it just seems cooler. And my next favorite is my Palm Beach collection. Um, this one is in coconut and lime and I love that because it reminds me of the beach and summer and sunscreen and all that jazz. Um, my favorite thing about this though is you open up the packaging like so and then there's this cute like there's these cute white matches at the top like like that Ooh. like how cute I think I nearly died when I opened the packaging. So yeah, really love that. And again, it's a two-tiered candle, so I think it's a great deal, like both of these candles, for the price they are. And it just it smells like coconut and lime. Like, I know that's the name, but you know, when it doesn't exactly smell like that, it literally smells just like coconut and limes. And now I'm hungry. I want a coconut. My next favorite thing, kind of still beauty wise, is my Bondi Sands self tanning lotion in dark. I mean, I've been, I'm like, I don't really have it on at the moment. I kind of just put it on when I'm going out and things like that. But it lasts me quite a while. I mean, I had it on for a week before it went really streaky. It's this really natural dark um, color. So good with descriptions today, but yeah, um, I think it's just I like um, lotions just because I feel like they're easy to put on. I'm so like all my friends use kind of spray, and I'm terrible at them. I just can't, I just can't deal. Like I spray it on, and then I have to work it in my skin, and they're like, "What are you doing? You just spray it on," and I'm like, "I can't deal with that. Like I need to like just make sure it's even by rubbing it in." And I feel like this has been great this month because. It doesn't look fake. My next favourites will be my fashion favourites. And this month, my favourite has been kind of fashion piece of clothing. It's been my Wang crop top. And it's like, it should be my favourite because like I had to wait from 2am for it. But yeah, it's just really cool. Goes under anything, like even under the t-shirt and then it kind of just peeps. Or it's like, um, if like white t-shirts are normally kind of a bit see-through and so you can see it underneath which is really good um, and then it's got this cool back and like you could wear it as a sports bra but I don't because it's too cool for that shit. My next favourite has been my Nikes like um, if you follow us on Instagram you know that we post Nike inspiration photos all the time yet I don't have a pair of cool Nikes and now I do so um, yeah I got them custom made they kind of um, like from the US so I had to get them shipped and that was really expensive but I'm just not gonna think about them my favorite part about them though is they say T Vu on the back because like they're custom made um, I could have fit Teresa Vu in but like I kind of felt like a bit of a dickhead um, their base is kind of a marble base well that's what it was called in the photo like in the kind of design center it looked really marbly and I was so excited and I got them and I was like that kind of just looks dirty like it kind of just looks like the like a normal white thing that you've kind of just scraped on stuff and then it's gotten dirty. But still, I've grown to really like it. Um, and then in the middle, it's got this like croc paddling. I don't know if you can see, but it's like faux croc. And I really like it. And yeah, they kind of just, they're my go-to um, shoe at the moment. Like I just put them with like dresses, with pants, with skirts, with shorts, with everything. They're like Monica's boots, if you know. But they're comfy. <laughs> My next favourites will just be cool favourites. Cool? Yeah, I'll just go for that word. Um, my first is my iPhone 6. Um, whoops. And it's just been my baby all month. I love it. I bought it for the camera and it's so cool. And of course the case. And if you've seen my DIY tutorial, you should check that out. So yeah, my iPhone 6. I think that's my most favourite thing in life at the moment. Just because I spent so much money on it and it's cool. And then my next favourite is Freeze Better Water. I know it's a bit weird, um, and also this bottle is like nearly empty, but I've kind of just started working on social media for them. So yeah, it's basically the first, um, the world's first free water brand. Oh my god, I should really know that. But yeah, so um, how they make money is just with ads on the back. 
um, and as such. And yeah, I like it just because like I hate paying for water. Like I literally go to Coles and pay five dollars for bottled water. And like I get the bottle, but like it's water. Like you can literally get that from the tap, but you don't because like you don't want to go to a public bathroom and get it from the tap. So yeah, basically this kind of water you can just pick up from shelves. And it's only available in Melbourne at the moment, but you can see where it's available on their website. So yeah. Another favourite. Like, why pay for water? Okay, so my absolute last favourite is the TV show Rain. And, um, yeah, it's got, like, Adelaide Kane in it. It's got Caitlin Stace in it. And they're both Australian, so yay. Um, and, like, Francis is so hot. And it's just, like... I don't know how to explain it. It's like Merlin, I loved Merlin, and Gossip Girl, but together. And I told Bronte that, and she was like, ill, like, no, I'm not watching that. And she's like, I hate Merlin. And I'm like, no, it's like, it's really cool, you like it. And then she watched it, and she was like, it's not like Merlin at all, Teresa. And I was like, mm, I think it is. So, yeah, if you don't like Merlin, you probably won't think it's like Merlin. But if you like Merlin, it's kind of a bit like Merlin, because, like, it's old and magic kind of it's not too magic, but it's just really cool. And like, I really hope it doesn't get cancelled because that happens with all my favourite TV shows, like Emily Owens, MD. I'm still like, I'm still really depressed about that. My life really shouldn't revolve this much around TV shows, but it does. Anyway, <laughs> um, that was the end of my November favourites. Hope you liked a few of the things I picked out. And if you haven't tried them, please go ahead because I love them this month. If you liked that, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!